All right, uh, let's look at the practice exam one, uh, problem number two. All right, we want to find the interval of convergence of this uh, power series, all right? All right, so first, uh, we're gonna do a ratio test. All right, so ratio test. So uh, we're gonna do a limit as uh, n approaches infinity and uh, a ratio of uh, two consecutive terms, so a n plus one and a n. All right, so in this case uh, here, this is our, this is our uh, a n, right? So we know what the a n plus one would be, so this is a limit as n approaches infinity, absolute value. Right, a n plus one would be just to put n plus one where n is. So you you would have uh, x minus three raise it to the n plus one over uh, n plus one five to the n plus one. Right. Then divide by a n. So divide by a n is same thing as multiply by its reciprocal. So I'll put the n and the five to the n over uh, quantity x minus three raise it to the n. All right. Then we can do some cancellation. So we can cancel uh, x minus three to the n. All right then you have n plus one of those, so I'll just cancel that. So we have uh, another x minus one on, uh, minus three on top. All right, then we can cancel x to, uh, five to the n power. So this is uh, n plus one of those, so I'm gonna just scratch that out. So you have another one there. All right, then uh, I think that's, uh, that's about it. So what we can do is pull out the things that has nothing to do with n. So you can see that, uh, let's see, uh, x minus three. So that guy just has nothing to do with n. So I'm gonna pull it outside of the limit. And uh, also five, it's just a constant. So I'll pull it outside of the limit. So you would get um, uh, absolute value of x minus three and divide by five. Then you would have to take the limit of what's left as n approaches, uh, oops, uh, infinity. So on top is n over uh, n plus one, right? This is a pretty simple limit. You can just uh, multiply top and bottom by one over n and one over n, and you would get, uh, so I'm gonna actually go down here. You get uh, absolute value of x minus three over five. Then you have a limit as n approaches infinity. Then you have a one over, right, n over n is one uh, plus one over n. And you can see that uh, as n approaches infinity, this guy goes to zero, so it's going to be one. So the limit is going to be this times one. So absolute value of x minus three over five, right? And in order to get a convergence, uh, we want this guy to be less than one. So it's going to be less than one, right? Which gives us an open interval. So multiply by five. So absolute value of x minus three is less than five, right? which means that uh, x minus three by removing um, absolute value sign, it's gotta be between negative five and positive five, All right? Then we can just uh, add the three to both, uh, I mean, uh, to everyone. You get uh, negative two, x, and eight, All right? So you can see that uh, x is gonna be between negative two and eight, we get a convergence, right? But uh, we have to check the endpoints. What happens when x equals uh, exactly equal to negative two, right? So if, uh, if that's the case, right, then uh, the series is going to be 
put negative, uh, negative 2 here, so negative 2 minus 3, so that's going to be negative 5 to the n. So it's going to be summation. n goes from 0 to infinity. All right, so you have a negative 5 to the n over n times 5 to the n, All right? Then you can see that, that this guy is uh, negative, uh, negative 5 to the n is equivalent to uh, negative 1 to the n, 5 to the n. So you can cancel 5 to the n and a 5 to the n. You will get this, right? Actually, this problem, there's a typo. This should have been uh, 1, sorry. All right, so this should have been 1, All right? Then you can see that uh, you have a summation n goes from 1 to infinity and you have a negative 1 to the n over n. Right? This guy is going to converge because this is an uh, um, uh, alternating harmonic series. So this guy converges since um, it is a alternating harmonic series, All right? So how about that x equals 8? Oops. If you plug in 8, you're going to get the summation n goes from 1 to infinity, All right? So 8 minus 3, so 5 to the n over n times 5 to the n, All right? This time, uh, 5 to the n, 5 to the n cancel out you end up getting a harmonic series, All right? All right, this guy diverges uh, since it is a harmonic series, All right? So therefore, we do not want to include uh, 8, but we would include the negative 2. So the interval convergence is negative 2, with the square bracket indicating that we want to include negative 2 and 8 with the parentheses to indicate that we're going to exclude 8. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.